Hello, gals. If you are watching this, there are some parts of the reality you need to be aware of. Jesus is the son of God. And I would recommend staying away from lines that involve Jesus saying, I don't know, or even I didn't see that coming. The latter of which he used in the first season, and the former of which he used in this episode. Although, to be fair, in the full context of the scene, John was asking Jesus, oh, which scroll of Moses is your favourite? Jesus says, I don't know. But then continues to say, they're all my favourites. And, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I can see how you'd get away with that. Although, if you're trying to add in a dose of humour with Jesus, I'd recommend adding in lines like, ah, saw that coming, or to quote Legend of the Guardians, I was like, aha, I foretold you so! They responded to me! Alright, Dallas. Your adaptation. I suppose, again, your aim is to... make Jesus more relatable in this contemporary age. So, I can see why you're taking this approach. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a call to attend to. <laughs> beep, boop, beep. Patty, is that you? Patty here! Dallas Jenkins of The Chosen just contacted me! Oh, the best son and writer. Uh, well, uh, I'm out of different books. No, his son. Oh, the show that all the church goes are raving about. Yes, him. He responded to me. Hmm, what'd you say, lad? He acknowledged my critique about how he depicted Jesus in the previous season, and he said he was keeping up the Jesus jokes. Oh, don't you fret, lad. This is just Dallas Jenkins' creative interpretation at the end of the day. But isn't that a being a bit risky? Oh, sure. If you want a perfect example of the gospel, just read the gospel itself. On one hand, I can understand what you're trying to say. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But on the other hand, all the crew are being very faithful to the Gospels. Perhaps you yourself need to put faith in them. And the fact that they're even responding to these critiques shows how humble they are. You can say all you want about the show, but the community is amazing. Right, I'll take that into consideration. But I'm a... Um, I'm a reviewer. I'm a Christian reviewer. I've been transformed by Christ in recent years. And my faith has helped me to see film and television from a theological standpoint. I take my faith and my reviewing quite seriously. You can't cosplay as an Irishman and talking to yourself seriously? Well, to an extent. Well, it's important to keep a critical eye out on things. We have to realise, according to this book I just picked up, there comes a point after we have checked out as much as possible when we have to give up our distance in order to make progress. And John Lennox is relevant to the skit because... Firstly, John Lennox is Irish. Secondly, we need to start promoting apologetic books. One of your friends has been nagging on at you to review these kind of books for some time. Just like reading C.S. Lewis. Oh yeah, it's hard to discern his uh, Irish heritage from his thick English accent. Going back on topic, as long as people are sharing the gospel and filled with the Holy Spirit, I think that's all that really matters. Yeah, thanks for understanding my concerns, Paddy. No, Fred. God bless you, laddie. And have a safe night. Beep. No. To contact the Netflix estate to get that flippin' Narnia reboot started already. Ah, uh, I did not write a script for the skit. Hang on, wait a second. Was it specifically Dallas Jenkins who responded to me, or was it some team member in charge of the YouTube channel that responded to me? Ah, oh well. Thank you once again for commenting on my channel. I think this is going to be the start of a beautiful relationship. And in all seriousness, what matters at the end of the day is that we spread the word of the gospel, because that's the only hope we've got. Christ is the centre of all our beauty, so please, keep spreading the word. I was just looking out for you, because I really want you to succeed in making season three. And just remember, it's not about us, it's about him. Thank you.